everybody, and welcome back to Snacktastic Adventures. I'm your boy, Leroy. Yes, we're finally back after a very long absence. I just need to take a little bit of a snack break. <laughs> so to speak, this summer. But we're back, and I've got a lot of fun snacks coming your way, especially with spooky season around the corner. Today, we are here to celebrate the one, the only, Charlotte Burger Week! For one week, select restaurants around Charlotte offer $7 burger specials. This is my third time participating in the event. I'm really excited for this year because, first off, there's so many new restaurants to try. But the biggest thing is everybody is bringing their best burger game. We've got places trying lamb and bison. We've got grilled cheese sandwich burgers to peanut butter, bacon, and jelly. I, I can't even fathom it, but it's there. I don't think I'm gonna get through them all, but I'm gonna do my best. So without further ado, let's grab our burger bibs and head out on to Charlotte Burger Week. Joining me on my first Burger Day adventure is my good friend May. Wow, Whiskey Warehouse, what a way to start. Love the atmosphere in there. It, it was just beautiful, beautifully decorated. And a huge shout out to our server, Alyssa, who just provided excellent service. She was cool from the second I got there. She was giving us high fives. We ordered the burger. South of the burger. A six ounce burger, chorizo jam, monetary jack cheese, avocado, and lettuce on a brioche bun. I want to preface that I don't like avocado. That's actually really good. Yeah? Let's try this bad boy. Mmm. Mmm. I like the chorizo jam. Kind of adds like a taco taste to it. Everything blazes together really well. This is a really good burger. Mmm. The cheese is melted per perfectly. The meat is delicious. Great start. Then we weren't sure what to get for a side. We asked for her opinion. She recommended the mac and cheese and oh. This is probably going to be delicious. Yeah, it's really good. I really like that. Yeah? Yes. Uh, they know what they're doing. Mac and cheese time. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Huh? <laughs> oh, that is some heavenly cheese right there. Melted cheese perfection. Just the right amount of, of creamy and melted gooey cheese. So much cheese. It was so good. We loved that mac and cheese. Um, and the burger itself, perfection. The chorizo jam, avocado, the cheese, all of it played together beautifully. Whiskey Warehouse has definitely kicked things off in a big way. Time to move on to the next. Next up, Kid Cashew. It was a cute, quaint little spot. It had a lot of decor all over. We went in there and we got their lamb burger. The Flame Grilled Lamb Burger. A single four ounce patty, red onion marmalade, arugula, kasiri cheese, tzatziki on a local brioche bun. Oh, oh, I was like, no, this is arugula. I'm excited. I like it. There was a sweet flavor that I didn't expect. I really like it. The, the very flavorful. Very juicy sweetness to it. Mm, that's pretty good. The burger was pretty good. It was a very sweet, juicy burger. Very different from what we had at Whiskey Warehouse. Uh, it had a very unique flavor to it. One thing I will commend them for, it came with a side. It came with a little side of chips, which I appreciate that. It's so rare to find places where it comes with a side. Overall, had a great time. We're moving on to the next. We just wrapped up at Max Speed Shop where they had the bacon jam bison burger. Grilled bison burger with smoked onions, smoked garlic aioli, lettuce, tomato, bacon, jam, and an egg sunny side up on a toasted brioche bun. That's really good. The egg complements it. The, the onions 
with the beef. Ah, oh, not beef. It's bison. Yeah. That is jam packed with flavor. Gotta say, this is a cool spot to hang out. I could see myself spending a lot longer here. I have a friend who's eaten here before and he recommends the ribs. But today, we tried the burger. Overall, really enjoyed it, had a good time. All right, so we just finished at Jack Beagle's, our last stop of today. Philly Burger. It's a seven ounce ground steak burger with peppers, onions, Swiss cheese, and their house-made garlic aioli on a brioche bun. I assume this is gonna be great. It's really good. It's, it's hot. No, it's really good. I love Philly cheesesteaks. So it does taste like a Philly cheesesteak? Yeah, it's really good. This is my favorite so far. Spoilers. That is really good. That does taste like a Philly cheesesteak with a burger. It's so juicy. Love the quality of the bun. Love that. Because this is a very juicy burger, the bread is able to absorb it and not fall apart. Very important when holding a burger to have good quality buns. That was a really good burger. Absolutely. And shout out to our waitress, Ashlyn. She was great, took good care of us. So we're gonna go ahead and say what our top two favorites are so far of Burger Week. Mine is the Philly Burger from Jack Beagles and South of the Burger. I will have to concur with May's list. My top two are also South of the Burger and the Philly Burger. Both were really good, great flavors. I am leaning just a bit more towards the South of the Burger because the flavor was really good and really unique to me. Really exciting stuff, a lot of great burgers today with a good friend. So, great start to Burger Week. Let's see what happens next. On day two, we went to Rira's Irish Pub. I was once again joined by May and our friend Taylor. The Jameson Bacon Burger, all beef burger patty, Jameson honey glaze, smoked bacon, cheddar cheese, arugula, tomato, bacon aioli on a brioche bun. That's pretty damn good. Rira's burger was absolutely massive and full of so much delicious flavor. It was such a good burger. It easily moved up into the top two for me. I also tried a side of fries with their signature Irish curry sauce. It was just all right, but the burger was definitely the star of the show. On day three, I went down by North Lake Mall to try Bobby O's Barbecue. Bobby O's Bacon Burger. Beef with their special sauce, a special marinade of beef overnight, feta and monetary jack mixed cheese with applewood bacon on a brioche bun. And you could add any veggies to it. They recommended to add jalapenos, which I did. that spice and the feta cheese. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That was worth the drive. I just finished at Bobby O's Barbecue and I am speechless after that burger. And then for a side, I asked what they recommended. They mentioned onion rings. I'm not a huge onion ring fan, but I was curious to try it. That burger was beautiful. First thing I noticed, high quality bun for that burger. One of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to burgers is a bun that can't handle the patty that's on it. But the burger itself, fantastic. Flavorful patty, the feta cheese, oh my God. That was so good. And the spicy sauce was just the right amount of heat and flavor. I got a little crazy, they gave me a little dipping sauce. I did dip the burger in it, which that might've been a bit too much for <laughs> spice. Uh, just the right amount of sauce was already on it with the jalapenos, was so flavorful, so spicy, and ah, oh, it was delicious. 
Bobbio's blew me away. Also, very friendly service. I highly recommend coming to check this place out. I really want to come back and try some of their barbecue. Just a huge shout out to Bobbio's. I am going to be dreaming about that burger for a long time. The onion rings were also delicious. They were just the right, like, crispiness. <sighs> um, they had a good little crunch to them, but they were also soft. Just the perfect texture for onion rings. And I would dip them in the sauce to give it a little spicy kick. <sighs> it really does make me want to come back here and try some more. Well, let's go try another burger spot. Bradshaw's Social House. The Grilled Cheeseburger. Fresh ground in house patty between two cheddar grilled cheese topped with sauteed onions and social sauce. All right, let's try this bad boy. Oh, so much cheese. Wow, cheesy goodness. Mm. All right, let's get messy. The Messy Mushroom Burger. Fresh custom ground in house patty, buttered potato bun, garlic salt, sauteed mushrooms, and mushroom gravy. Look at that. <laughs> wow. That is a lot of mushroom flavor. Thank goodness they give you a paper towels. And they got like this salty, I don't know if you can see, they got this salty stuff on here. It does help a lot with the flavor. I gotta say, this is always one of my favorite stops. During Charlotte Burger Week and Taco Week, their food is always on point. Another thing I really like about the setup, it's very relaxed there. I can't say enough good things about Bradshaw Social. I've had almost every single time the same waitress. Her name's Bridget. Always very friendly and gives great service. Also, shout out to Charlotte Burger Week who gave me a gift card to use here. So their two burgers were the Messy Mushroom Burger and the Grilled Cheese Burger. Now, the grilled cheeseburger, another restaurant that's participating, the Harp and Crown, is doing a grilled cheeseburger where it's a patty between two grilled cheese sandwiches. So I was under the assumption this was going to be the same thing. <laughs> it is not, but it's still very good. It came out and I wasn't expecting to see. They took the burger buns and flipped them inside out and they grilled it like a grilled cheese. There was so much cheese in lot burger. Then I had the messy mushroom burger and boy did that burger live up to its name. Hands down the messiest burger I've had all week. It was flavorful. If you are a mushroom lover this burger's for you because it is jam packed with mushrooms and a mushroom sauce. What I really liked about that one is they sprinkled salt on top of the burger bun. It helped add a little more flavor to the mushroom burger. But I gotta lean a little bit more towards that grilled cheese. I just enjoyed the cheese, the cheesiness. So Bradshaw's once again, delivering delicious food. We've got one more burger stop to make. All right, so I was just at Bad Daddy's Burger Bar. This has been one of my favorite restaurants even before Charlotte Burger Week. But of all the burger places, I think they were the most bold. The peanut butter bacon and jelly smash burger. Two four ounce smashed patties layered with bacon infused whipped peanut butter and a sweet and spicy three pepper jelly served on a toasted sourdough bread. Not gonna lie, out of all the burgers, I was the most nervous, but also excited for that one. My server took great care of me. Her name was Kristen, shout out. She made sure I knew exactly what I was getting into with this burger. You know, for years I've heard about peanut butter on a burger was a thing, like people like that. And it just sounds insane. I love burgers, I love peanut butter. But together? Oh yeah. They gave me my burger and it was beautiful, beautiful burger. It was genius for them to use spicy jelly and peanut butter because I think that helps the savory side of it. I took a bite and I was so pleasantly surprised. That was a good 
burger. The peanut butter and jelly was a great sweetness, but there was also a little spicy kick to it. Not very strong, but it was there. It was noticeable. I ate the entire thing. That's how good it was. Yeah, I, I, I am still shocked. Bad Daddy's really brought in a unique and delicious burger. It is making it hard to figure out which burger is number one, and that'll be next. Oh my God, nine burgers. And that doesn't even scratch the surface of how many burgers were offered for this event. It was overwhelming and I sadly just ran out of time and room in my stomach to try all these restaurants. One of the things I just really like about this event is it helps you discover so many different restaurants you've never been to before. It's just a great way for me, uh, being a single guy, finding good date spots, also a place to take friends and family. That being said, it's time to announce my favorite burgers from this week. This was a really tough decision because, again, all these places really went above and beyond creating unique burgers. They have announced the winners of Burger Week, the winner being Greystone's Pub with their Opa Burger. I am so mad that I didn't go try it. It was on my list, but I just ran out of time. But now it's time for my top three. So I'm going on flavor, boldness, and my overall experience at the restaurant. So in third place, I'm gonna have to give this one, and this was really tough, but I'm gonna go with Bad Daddy's Burger Bar, the peanut butter, bacon, and jelly burger. I think it was the most bold burger of the week. Putting peanut butter on a burger isn't new, but it's not a popular idea, at least in this area. But just the way they constructed this burger was absolutely brilliant with the toasted sourdough bread, the spicy peanut butter, the three pepper jelly. It all worked. I, I was just blown away at the structure of this burger and how good it ended up being. In second place, I have to give it to Whiskey Warehouse and they're south of the burger. It was such a unique taste for a burger, having that chorizo jam on there. And they had the avocado on there, which I'm not huge on, but it worked, it all worked. It made for such a wow burger. <laughs> it was so good. And finally, my number one favorite burger of the week has to be Bobbio's Bacon Burger. This one, absolutely full of flavor and blew my mind. The burger was, just every part of it was perfect. From the, the feta cheese on top, the secret spicy sauce, and the recommendation of adding jalapenos was a good one because it worked and also the service was great. And I just overall really enjoyed my time there. I want to go back so badly to try more of their food. All three of these restaurants I want to return to and try more of their delicious food. It's been another amazing burger week. I think it's been the best one yet. Next year will be the 10th annual burger week. So I'm hoping it's gonna be even bigger and more epic. In the meantime, if anybody knows of some cool food events going on in Charlotte, let me know down in the comments below. I'm always looking to try new foods and new venues. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button. Also, if you'd like to pick out our next snack, check out our snack fear list. Link in the description below. We've got a lot of crazy snacks on there. We'll try if you buy. And grab yourself some snack merch at the Snacktastic store. We've got t-shirts and mugs with our goofy faces on them. And until next time, keep on burgering. Thanks so much for snacking with us. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Also, hit that bell button so you don't miss any Snacktastic adventures. So if you haven't already, you should check out our snack shop. Mugs, t-shirts, and aprons galore. Anything you want to find, check it out at our Snacktastic store. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next Snacktastic adventure. Woo!